Puck is dropped to that hockey. Takes the feed. Cutting to the front of the net. Canada's got it from behind the net. Takes the pass. Here's a chance on the attack. Proceeds the pass. Errant pass and they can't connect. Team Austria is looking to break out. Takes it across the blue line. Canada's got it behind the net. Quick pass to Sealy. Here they come on the attack. Handles the puck. Takes the feet at the back end. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. One of the things he was working on is trying to control where the puck goes after he stops it. The corner is a pretty safe place. Slides the puck over. Picked up along the wall by Power. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Canada's got the puck along the wall. Perfetti's stick handling in his own zone. Canada's got the puck along the wall. Takes that pass back at the point. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Moves it quickly over to Johnson. Austria's got it in their own zone. Team Austria's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Canada's on the attack. Back at the point, they set it up. And he puts that one aside with ease. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The game is still scoreless. Team Austria has won the face-off deep in their own end. Austria's got a hold of the puck. Up along the wing. Canada's got possession of the puck. Takes the feed from his own end. Greg's going to play it against the half wall. And he takes a shot. He scores! There wasn't much room there, but that's a... Snappy release, it beats the goalie low on the glove side. Canada's got the game's first goal just past the midway mark of the first. What's the mindset now here? They were just talking on the bench. Let's go get another. I like it. You're up one. Be aggressive. Go push the other team against the wall. Moves it to Gunther. And now he tries to get it across to Craig. Team Austria's got the puck in the defensive end. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Picks up the puck in his own end. Team Austria's got it in their own zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Special teams are always going to be a big part of any game. The penalty killers take center stage now with a one-goal lead. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Great opportunity to get this game back to level a power play, trailing by one. This is a huge opportunity. And they won't connect on that one. And now it's to Sealy. Canada's got the puck against the half wall. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And now it's grabbed by Sealy. Austria's got the puck here in the open ice. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Team Austria's ready to go on the attack. Canada's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Handles the pass at center. Sealy's got it against the boards. And now he moves it to Johnson. Team Canada's got possession here in the offensive zone. And that's blocked. And he makes the save. 
Team Austria's got the puck. Sends a pass over. Moves the puck. Takes the feed at the point. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, I hate it when I miss chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. And that's picked off in front. And they send it right back to him. Here he is in front. Oh, stick save and a few. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. The Noye is up and ready to join the play. Austria's got the puck against the boards. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Garrett's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Getting into the later stages of this period, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Back underway as he wins the draw wow. inside the offensive zone. Team Canada's got a hold of the puck now. And sends it just out of reach. And there's the whistle icing the call. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Team Austria's won the faceoff. Hey, maybe you can create some offense against the tired team after the icing. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Canada's got it in the defensive zone. And now he angles it across to Neighbors. Keeps hold of the puck. Turns it over. Great stick work with the steal. Handles the puck from the left side. Team Austria is looking to break out of their own end. Canada's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck picked up by Neighbors. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. teams with a chance to recharge and refresh and this second period about set to get underway and play resumes as the puck is dropped here's a chance Garrett's gonna cover it up for a faceoff while his team's ahead he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like still early on in this frame James and Ray with you so glad you could join us team Canada's up one zip Austria's won the draw and they'll go to work. Handles it along the blue line. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. And that pass is redirected. Austria's got it along the wall. Shot! Gets a glove on it. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Let's it fly! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. And that one's broken up. Peters moves it ahead. Carries it in. Takes the feed. Sends the pass over. And makes the save. Here's a short pass to McTavish. Puck scooped up by Johnson. On the attack along the boards. And now it's over to power. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. And now he moves it quickly to power. Puts the puck on net. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Still lots of time left in the period. 
Canada's ahead, 1-0. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Team Austria's across the blue line. Canada's got a hold of it against the wall. Team Austria's got control of it now here in the offensive end. That opportunity's rejected. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Bork. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Throws it on goal. Scores! That's two unanswered now. Uh, they stayed right on it. Once they got that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. This is a perfect shot placed up over the high blocker side. The goaltender can't get a stick on it. He doesn't get his blocker on it. He's down in the butterfly, I think, a little too soon. Team Canada's now made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, Ray? Coaches are going up and down the bench, telling the players to stay on it. Don't back up. And he moves it up to Gunther. With possession along the wall. He grabs the puck here at the point. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. And he slides it quickly to Cooley. There's the whistle, we've got an offside. Past the midway mark of the frame, Canada's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Team Austria's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Nice pass. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range smothered that in close chance. Canada's moving it into the offensive end. Into the corner. Here's a pass down low. Can't connect on the pass. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. And he passes it up ahead to Gunther. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Team Canada's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Powers got it along the wing. Quick feed to Bourgeau. Takes a shot. Scores! They are on fire! Yeah, and it's all different sources, too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. Head up and pick the spot he wanted, and he hit it perfectly. Low stick side. Team Canada's playing like the puck is stuck to their stick all night. They've dominated this game, James. I like everything about the way that they've played it so far. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Powers taking it from his own end. Inside the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Moves it around along the half wall. Wrestling in close. Gives them nothing in front. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. And he connects with the long bomb. Wright's got the puck. Quick pass to Perfetti. Takes the pass. Couldn't complete the pass. Right to the middle! And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's gonna be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. Great night, two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. Looking to set up offensively. And he regains control of the puck. Canada's got control of it now from their own end. 
along the half wall with the puck. Move to the middle, and oh so close on that play. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 3-0 is where we sit. One team really enjoying this night, the other not so much. Austria is looking to break out. Team Austria is moving it up the ice. Moves the puck along the half wall. Team Canada's gained possession along the boards. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And they fail to go tape to tape. And he makes the easy save. Garen's had a relatively easy night. He hasn't faced many shots, and they've got a nice, comfortable lead. Canada's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Perfetti. And he comes up with it. Oh, wow, stops the game. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Here's a shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. McTavish has got it in the offensive zone. Centering pass. Just can't complete that pass. No, oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. Here's a shot. And the puck skips off the glove. Sends one up to Bork. Cormier's got it along the boards. Now a quick pass to Cooley. Unable to reach that one. Team Austria's got it in the neutral zone. Cormier's lugging the puck. Pushes it across to Johnson. Gaining steam here on the attack. Back to the blue line. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. More than half the frame has been played here. Canada's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Here's an offensive chance. Shuts them down. Canada's got the puck along the boards. Point-to-point -point pass. Team Austria's got the puck now. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Takes a shot. That's kicked away with the pad by Garan. Now he slides it up to Gunther. Team Canada's on the attack. Receives the pass. Big time stop. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Austria's got the puck against the half wall. Stays with it. Canada's got the puck along the wall. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Steps inside. Canada's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Moves it over to Tenoyer. Picked up along the boards by Neighbors. Centering pass! Oh, what a missed chance that was! Yeah, he's gotta make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just gotta get the puck on the tape. Back to the point it goes. And that puck leaves the zone. And now he tries to get it across to Tenoyer. Handles the puck. Whoa! He scores! Two goals on the night for him. They've really been effective for checking a couple of breaks, and now he's got two. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. Canada's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been non-stop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. Slides the puck over. Looks to set up at the point now. Skates to the crease. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Tape to tape, feed on the blue line. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Austria's got it behind the net. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Steps across the blue line. Team Canada's got possession of the puck. 
From one point man to another. Gets in front of it. Perfetti's going to play it against the half wall. And that one's broken up. Austria's playing it through the neutral zone. Just wide. Austria's been able to generate scoring chances through their work and skill. They're not able to finish enough of them. And this one's in the books. Ray, what a run between the pipes right now. The shutout streak continues. It's not just on the goalie, it's the guys in front of him. But he has been red hot. For Ray Ferraro, I'm Gene Sabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.